we are here at the Gathering Spot in DC, and we are celebrating the new launch of the documentary Black Twitter, A People's History. It's partially based on the article from Wired, People's History of Black Twitter. As a senior writer at Wired, I cover pop culture, I cover music and TV and film, range of subjects, social media. And at the time, I was really looking for a new feature to dig my teeth into. And you know, somebody who's been on Black Twitter for years and years, I was like, you know, I think there's something here. I think there's a story waiting to be told. And so I was like, maybe I'll do a giant oral history and just talk to as many people as I can. And then that's sort of how the story came about. You know you're black when you wear tall tees. You know you're black when you can go to a cookout late and still be early. Yo, where do we come up with this? The heart of the docu-series is really about black resilience and the way that, you know, we're constantly kind of told in this country that our culture doesn't translate um, overseas or we're constantly told the parameters in which we will be accepted or if we or do this, this will just pan out. And I think Black Twitter, in the best way, is a mirror of and reflection of America and the world kind of back to itself. It's like, oh, you said this, well, let's test that. Or you say this, well, let's see if that's true. And I think Black Twitter is a constant source of accountability for the people that are you know, lawmakers and activists, things like that here, is be thinking about something like Black Twitter is so important because no, it's not a book, right? or no, it's not this or that, but it is, power is happening there. Influential things are happening there, right? So you have to protect those things too. It's so special that the producers brought this experience to the gathering spot and were intentional about where they wanted to have these conversations. Like obviously it makes sense, but my friends and I had so much fun laughing about the various moments in this documentary uh, with other people who like remember the Sierra Rihanna beef and like can talk about the Drake Kendrick conversation that we're having right now. Having spaces that celebrate the power of Black Twitter, uh, I think is super important, especially knowing the work that Honest Collective has been doing to tell Black stories through Hulu and ABC over the past three years. I think that's very important. I hope people are inspired by the courage that it took to tell our raw and unfiltered stories and to tell a history that was once just truly on our phones and was once maybe called trends at one point and was gossip and, and just clapbacks and, and memes and gifts and just put it all into a narrative that really brings together what we call black Twitter but is truly just culture. Hotep Twitter. Black music Twitter. Twitter after dark. And I, oh.